Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I don't think I've actually tell you guys my name. My name is Shem and behind the camera today is my wife Rihanna. And we weren't feeling too well, uh, you know, in the last couple of days. So we took a check and we actually had the coronavirus. We tested positive. So we decided to do a little bit of social distancing today on the boat because, you know, I mean, they say vitamin D is a good for, it's good for the, um, for the coronavirus so we decided to come out and get some vitamin D also we're gonna enjoy some of the beautiful South Florida weather today and we're leaving the Von D. Mizell Eula Johnson State Park so going the into the port of Fort Lauderdale all right so there you see Royal Caribbean over the uh, Caribbean princess. Um, I think they are. Um, I'm not sure what cruise line it is, but. Out uh, here is where you would go to go get into the mighty Atlantic. That is called Fort, Fort Everglades Inlet. And, or also the Fort Lauderdale Inlet. Really rough out there today. I ain't going out there. Going out there is like suicide. Because I got a very small boat. Oh, we just had some dolphins here and we almost went over them, so I, I cut the engine. Let's see if they pop up over there. Oh, there they are. So it's Caribbean cruise lines, um, Princess Cruise Lines, I guess. Never been on one of those, but I guess you've been on one cruise, you've been on them all. I don't know. Then you got some beautiful houses over here. This is where I come and I daydream. Hopefully one day I could uh, afford one of these houses. Look at these bad boys. Look at the size of those things. Look at the size of this, the boat on the side of it. You park this little boat next to it, they look like a thingy. Famous 
hopefully we find a spot where it's kind of just us. You can catch any hassle with your rods today? <laughs> I would like to try, but I don't think we will. Oh, it's the tiki, the tiki bar over there. Stop here at the sandbar. Um, not as clear as we would like it, but it's nice. Nice little hangout spot for now. We're gonna check out Whiskey Creek after this. So we're there chilling on the sandbar. Checking out the area, see what it's like. It's the first time I'm coming out on this sandbar. I go to Miami Sandbar a lot, but they dredged that recently, and I kind of like that one better because the water is much clearer. Um, it's a lot better to be out of that water in my opinion, but um, out here is not bad, you know, I mean, it's nice, you know, it's a lot of cool people just enjoying themselves, you know, just chilling, everybody just with their families and what's not. This is um, our fishing cart. <laughs> This is what I go fishing with a lot, uh, hassle fishing, uh, whatever fishing, um, you know. So this is our Fort Lauderdale Beach sandbar. Um, I'm gonna try to take a little dunk in here. I have a dunk in just out in the deeper parts. They do short. And by the way, my wife is very pregnant. She's eight months pregnant right now, almost nine. So soon you see a little one join away on these adventures. There everybody's just chilling around us. Well, trust me, these people are at least more than I mean the closest people to us is these people and they are probably about 25, maybe 30 feet away, so we are so to listen to. We're not sharing any of our cooties, as my sister would say. Ready to go in? Yeah. All right, let's go. We're leaving. Leaving the sandbar, we're gonna head to Whiskey Creek. Onward. So we just left the sandbar, we're on our way. And we got the driver. She's gonna take over the driving for me so I can chill a little bit. We got Bacardi in the background. Repping guy knees all the way. I just want to hear, baby, when you really want me. Should I do my life when you is true? Alright guys, so we're going into the entrance of Whiskey Creek Hideout. So you get in here, you come in from the, the break across from the dock. Some food, rent paddle boards, kayaks. Or you can come with your own boat. That's all she wrote. Now well, we just beached. Just 
just chilling. <clears throat> no boats next to us. <clears throat> That's not chilly for a bit. Hang out and enjoy some music. We're back on the Kenneck. My wife is enjoying the music and enjoying the life. Social distancing don't have to be boring. It don't have to be boring. You can do it like this. Let's come out. Yeah, social distancing. I'm not around anybody. She's not around anybody. We're just here. Chilling. Or something. Now it's time for lunch. So we have... Uh, Spinach veggie wraps with chicken, avocado ranch dressing, and lettuce. lettuce. Romaine lettuce. Looks delicious. Can't wait to eat that. This thing off. Mm -hmm. What good? My nun can't be the house of Korea. Yeah? <laughs> It was really refreshing. That's hard with little rice. But it's good. It's refreshing. And it's healthy. That's one of the reasons why we have it so much. And we gotta get better soon, so. Yeah, we're trying to get over this coronavirus so we can get back to work. Some curry would be nice, but it's good too. Alright, we'll enjoy this and then after this we'll head back to dock and head home. We gotta do a lot of washing on the boats and all of them. Listen, boating is not fun. Anybody who tell you how boating is fun? It is fun is here. Fun. Boating is fun when you're not the driver. <laughs> and the guy who got washed on do everything. <laughs> Alright? Alright, we'll see y'all guys. Um, Thanks for Probably won't see y'all until the next video, but this is the end of the day. Anyhow, we'll catch y'all later.